I'm currently sitting on my yoga mat in front of my window right now to try to get the best lighting. I randomly decided to do this video because I felt like I wanted to introduce myself to you guys and also tell you a little bit about my art history. I figured if I'm going to be painting on my free time anyway, I might as well just prop my phone up and show it to you guys just because I would love to be able to share what I create with other people. I don't have a script or anything, it's a very impromptu video so I'm just gonna kind of ramble for a bit and show you guys some of my past paintings uh, and just how I got to where I am today. So I started painting about last year in October. I've always loved doing art as a side hobby, but kind of like other people, I wasn't making time for it. And it wasn't until last October that I decided to really dedicate time to be consistent with creating art and also explore new art mediums that I've always wanted to do before. Besides watching TV, I really didn't have any hobbies that I was doing consistently. So I decided to finally pick up art and try and do that consistently. I would love to be able to sell my art in the future, um, but right now it's more important for me to just kind of consistently get into the habit and just find what I like. I started off with doing fluid acrylics and that was a fun experiment for me because I had never done anything like that before, but I had always been interested in it because I think it's just so beautiful. It's just so free flowing because you can't really go back on things that you just did. Whatever you put out, you just have to trust it and it is what it is. This is one of the first paintings that I ever created. Um, I like to call it sea urchins because it reminds me of sea urchins. The colors, I never would have paired green and purple together, but I really love the way this looks. I also experimented with epoxy resin for the first time, so I actually have this resin. It is on a regular canvas that I got, and yeah, so this was one of the first ones that I've done. I was really experimenting with blowing techniques and um, swirling, I guess you could say. I also want to experiment and make it a little more fun, so I started incorporating geometric shapes into my fluid acrylics paintings. So this is one of the first ones I did of that style where I added um, geometric shapes to it. It is supposed to be a sunset sky. So I incorporated the purple and pink gradient colors of a sunset because I love those colors. I made some clouds in there and then I just kind of created this geometric shape to it. It's very glary um because of the resin so i will insert a, another stationary picture that doesn't have a bunch of glares on it so it's easier for you to see as you can tell it's also um epoxy resined i had one painting particularly this one that was very popular on my instagram uh, i actually was able to sell it um, I felt so honored that somebody loved my art enough that they wanted to buy it. It was inspired by Wednesday Adams, um, something that maybe she would hang up in her room. So I really stuck with the whole purple theme. I actually mixed that color and I really, really loved the way it turned out. So I went with the whole purple theme for that one. And after that one did well, I decided to do a light version of that. This one is not resined yet. Um, I don't know if I want to resin it. The purple one was very shimmery as a matte uh, varnish instead. So I might want to keep this one as well as not resined. I love the way it kind of like pulses at you due to the gradient and it just feels like a floating door. With those paintings, what I wanted to portray was think of it as like you're in some kind of limbo and then you find this glowing floating door and you're thinking to yourself, should I go there? Is this a way out? Is it a safe haven? It's supposed to be a kind of eerie, um, lost feeling that I was trying to portray of just kind of being stuck in this limbo and 
finding this door and this dimension was actually inspired if anyone has ever seen interstellar when he gets lost in that giant bookcase and he's just kind of floating around he doesn't know anything about space and time it's like not even a concept for him in that in that place he's just floating around looking it's never ending there's nothing there and this is the kind of background that i was going for with the purple one as well um, the purple one was supposed to be more of like a dark feeling and the light one is supposed to be more of like a haven versus the purple one it was supposed to make you feel like again you were just kind of drifting endlessly so that's why i named the purple one floating because i wanted it to make you feel as though you were just kind of you had no destination you didn't know where to go maybe you had been stuck there for a while and all of a sudden you see that door and it just strikes you so i named this one mirror to mirror the purple one that i did after that i kind of got very experimental um this one i called convergence because it's supposed to simulate the earth and the sea kind of combining in this whirlpool converging together into the middle these are kind of again like portally i was really into portals in that moment i was really into the thought of something mythical something mysterious kind of eerie you don't know if it's good or bad but it gives you like a weird feeling inside where you're curious but it also kind of feels like a bad idea i kind of imagined it as this portal that was sucking in the earth and just whirling everything together into this convergence into this portal this is another one that i really liked it was so fun to do it was very very freeing and very liberating to be able to just put something down and see where it goes and there was no thinking oh i made a mistake because you can't go back on it it's something you just have to stick with i also did some paintings here in a category called hard edge paintings that i really enjoyed doing i love the way they look like they're radiating at you which is why i called this one right here radiate because i really feel like if you step back it feels like it's pulsing at you. I did this one actually as a Christmas gift for a friend. I really, really love this painting that I did right here. It's called The Lone Earth and I think you can see why. It's supposed to give this very isolating, alone feeling of just being in space. I'm thinking about you know how vast space is and how small the earth is so i think if you did a little like zoom out on just the earth you'll see how small it is and maybe it's like glowing from all the lights that are on the earth but it's supposed to just be like a very quiet silent almost like you're in a black hole type of feeling and again i really kind of got this idea from interstellar when matthew mcconaughey gets sucked into that black hole and it's just so quiet it's so dark there's nothing there it just feels like you're in a the most silent room in the world so i really wanted to portray that feeling with just the earth i resined it and it was probably one of my favorite paintings that i had ever done before it took a really long time because each one of the gradients is like a slightly lighter color than the one before it so it's just painting rings around it the whole time so it really took a long time to be able to see the transition even begin and so that was really satisfying to be able to see once it was done and it was so beautiful I wish I could have kept it myself honestly but again it's love and hate relationship of loving your paintings and having to let them go I would keep all of them if I could but honestly like I the whole point of creating is to be able to share it with other people and the thought of having them hanging in someone else's home right now is just such a great feeling so um, definitely worth it to let them go. So at this point, I was feeling a little bit burnt out from doing fluid acrylics and these hard edge paintings. I felt like I was doing something new, cool, and creative by combining these two mediums, and I just couldn't figure out a way to take it to the next step. So I was feeling a bit burnt out by trying to one-up myself. And also, I think since my uh, floating painting, the purple one that I showed, had really taken off on social media, I was kind of getting into this feeling of, I need to create things that are similar to that, of the same style, so that people like it. After I started getting a little bit burnt out from doing fluid acrylics and hard edge paintings, I kind of just went on exploring other mediums. So I started experimenting with textured paintings. I created this one. Man, this glare is crazy. Oh, this side is a little bit better. So I named this one Icy because it's supposed to feel as if 
you're looking at like a frosted window and maybe you had started scratching at it. Like think about if you do have a cold winter and it snows or it gets cold enough that your car windows in the morning are frosted and you need to take that little scratcher in the morning to scratch through all the ice. This is kind of what I was going for. The blue is supposed to be that frost glacier freeze Gatorade feeling. So I went with a bunch of different shades of blue and just kind of went, went to town. And I, I really like the composition of this one. I love the colors and I actually really like the way it turned out. This was a old canvas that I reused. I repainted it um, with the solid black base first and then I went in with it with the blues. I really love reusing old canvases to be able to try out new techniques so I don't feel bad about wasting a new canvas. And this one actually turned out really well. And then after that, I started kind of experimenting with gouache, which is what I've been using now and what I've been loving. I did these two paintings. So this one is a sunlit forest and then this one is just a mountain path. I love using gouache, I don't know. It's just, I always loved the look of watercolor, but I didn't like how I wasn't able to get dark enough at some times. And then I just discovered gouache was a thing. And then after that, I created this one. It's supposed to be like an old Japanese style home, but I created the lanterns and I put Chinese writing on it because I thought it looked nicer. I actually created this one during AAPI month, so it really means a lot to me, this painting. I actually created this one as well. It is just a picture of oranges, but if anybody Everybody has an Asian family, they know that freshly peeled oranges is a different love language above all else. Coming home and having your parents already peeled all these oranges for you ready to eat was just the most refreshing thing and it just felt so homey. So I always had a special place in my heart for oranges, so I thought it would be so fun to paint them. I decided to give it a big pop of color of putting that blue bottom as the complementary contrasting color for the oranges. I'm really proud of the detailing that I did on the oranges. I feel like they look realistic but also cartoony at the same time so i love that look and now we're getting into the paintings that i've done most recently this is the flower painting that i created after taking a slight break from painting it is an interesting size it's like kind of a square so i can't i haven't found the right picture frame for it yet but i really enjoy this one too and then we're getting into my most recent painting which is bucket cat i love her oh my gosh the lighting okay this is better i can just see a cat taking a bucket hat and just like having huge interest in it staying in it all day cats find the weirdest things to be very comforting and something that they want to claim as theirs like whatever box you have they just love that so i can picture them doing it to a bucket hat as well i'm feeling safe underneath it and just cozying up into it and then this next painting that i have is my next video so this is actually the start of a new series that i'm creating called escapism the point of this series that i wanted to do was because i really like the gouache paintings that i've been doing i feel like they look great but they lack the same emotion that my fluid acrylics had or my hard edge paintings had i feel like i wasn't able to convey the tone that i loved from my old paintings the tone that i love conveying in my paintings is kind of like a lost lonely eerie tone almost nostalgic feeling like when you go on a walk at night and it's just so peaceful and it's calm it feels very comforting but at the same time it's like slightly eerie maybe the road is very dark and you can't see where it ends and it feels good to walk on it but it also feels a little bit guarded you feel comforted by like the darkness of the nighttime but it also feels a little bit nostalgic and sad for some weird reason that you can't explain and that is the feeling that i love capturing in my paintings that i did a really good job in my old painting i did a really good job of conveying a different story using that feeling like the lone earth one was about earth being alone the floating door was about being in a lost dimension and finding either haven or you know the portal to another lost world that you just found i love this sunset painting i feel like it really gives such a beautiful nostalgic feeling especially with the geometric shapes for some weird reason it kind of gives it like this alternate dimension type of feeling to it too i don't know why it gives that feeling but it does 
so I wanted to create that same feeling in gouache so it's been a challenge for me to try to figure out how to do that and this is the first painting where I feel like I really was able to kind of do that the whole idea behind it is that you know you're in this world that is very colorless it's very simplistic that is what i was trying to convey with the the ink drawing but then once you open this door it's beautiful it is lively there's flowers there's nature it's colorful it can be a good representation of maybe how we feel in our lives sometimes we might feel everything is mundane it's very routine there's not much going on it can be a bit boring it feels black and white but then all of a sudden you find something maybe it's a hobby a person you go on a trip you find a place you find a book you really like and it just lights up your world it's like an escape for you and that is kind of the feeling that i was going for with this painting and i think it kind of does convey the feeling that I was able to convey from my other paintings um, in an opposite way though, in a more positive tone. I don't think that having a signature style means that you have to be using this one medium in this one way specifically for all your paintings, but it's just the way to invoke a feeling within you that you know is a painting of mine, I think. I think if you were looking at something like The Lone Earth, versus this painting that I just made, I think you would be able to see a similarity between the two tones that I was trying to convey. Or at least that's what I hope. So that is a sneak peek into my next video, but also what I wanna say is my first collection that is finally based off of a central idea, which is escapism. Doing the collections I think will give me a sense of direction in these videos that I'm doing instead of just painting something random, which is also fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but I love my paintings to have some type of feeling, meaning, or tone behind it that I'm trying to convey. I have a bunch of collections that I already am thinking of that I would love to do, and I think with the end of every one, I would love to showcase each piece and kind of talk about it and talk about what this collection means and what I was trying to convey out of it. So as I was saying, my first collection is going to be called Escapism and you just saw the sneak peek of the first painting that I've done for it. I think that this has all been a very interesting road in terms of my art journey to be able to find something that I love. Um, if you would like to see me try specific mediums or specific projects that you have in mind that you would like me to try. I have a lot of interesting ideas of what I want to do that's art related that I would love to show you guys eventually. That's really exciting for me. I want to thank you guys for watching this video specifically because I've never had a sit down and talk video with you so I'm so excited to be able to actually have a platform to talk about my art more freely and the meaning and the message behind it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!